Hello everyone, I'm Felipe from Electric Bike Advisor and in this beautiful sunny day I'm going to review the Giant Explore E Plus 2023 model. I want to acknowledge Ivanhoe Cycles in Melbourne that provided this giant electric bike for review today. Okay, so I'm gonna test out the weight of the Giant Explore E Plus 2023 model. So let's see what we get. So we're now zero. And let's go. So based on this, 28 kilograms give it or take okay so i'm gonna test what is to ride the bike without any assistance um so let's see it's a little bit of an incline and i'm going in there yeah i can feel it's a tiny bit heavy it is using one of the heaviest gears even with the lightest gears it feels a tiny bit heavy still okay so i'm gonna test out echo mode and one of the heaviest gears in the drivetrain let's see how it feels yeah very gentle minimal push and assistance from the motor uh, it's not much not much different if i were pedaling by myself but yeah it's so com comfortable okay now i'm gonna test tour mode with the same gear uh, in the drivetrain so let's go wow okay that is quite different compared to the echo mode felt that I was not needed to pedal too hard and get to already reach 18 19 k's on an uphill okay so I'm gonna test now the active mode more power provided by the motor I'm actually noticing I have my brakes on just put a little bit of pressure on the pedals and I can feel the motor trying to provide that power, that assistance. So might be the torque sensor embedded in the system. And uh, yeah, the gear system, similar to the other tests. Let's do it on an uphill ride. Right. 
so simple 25 k's there you go the motor cut in the assistance very easy okay so i'm gonna test the sport mode and the same gear selection on an uphill terrain not pedaling too hard the motor giving the power i need almost 20 k's per hour so good yeah it feels quite <laughs> quite smooth and interesting all right now i'm gonna test the last assistance mode which is the power one same gear selection going uphill i can tell that yes uh, there is enough power for me to take the bike um, uphill but I don't sense much of a difference between the sport mode and the power mode. I think it might be more de dedicated to uh, terrains there where there is like uh, more hilly or in steep conditions, then you can have the different. Let's test the suspension system quite responsive 100 millimeters travel compression uh, I'm not too surprised that the bike feels stable and comfortable when taking bumps there's a second one let's see how it feels I love it and ergonomic grips so far I love the design of the grips it is quite comfortable on my on my hands here the motor is so keen to get me on a uh, power so let's go on this little bit so easy <laughs> that was very easy to go on that little mount now going off road barely feel this the bumps ah i love this the braking system is very smooth and also i love the fact that when braking the extended pads on the grips help me with supporting my body weight on that uh brakes how to operate the walk assist mode to activate it echo mode then you press the little person on the left side when walk assist mode is activated after three seconds you press the up arrow and it's gonna start providing that gentle push i think it is around 2k's per hour that is providing which is quite good in terms of my speed of walking if i want to go slow it is is easy nice and easy and uh, yeah to deactivate it you just let go of it and the walk assist mode is gonna stop operating so my impressions of the giant explore e plus 2023 model um quite impressed with the quality of this bike what giant has presented in this model is awesome in terms of the elements used to power the, the bike yamaha motor 650 watts hour battery that's plenty of power or capacity to get a very long range um, one of the things that I love a lot is its comfort suspension wise absorbs quite well the bumps bumps in the terrain um, the grip design having the possibility here to have a more aggressive cycling style or a more comfortable one with these extended pads uh, with the grips that is quite awesome especially for people that may have issues with the uh, wrist or something like that so yeah I love that part also the inclusion of all the accessories uh, front light rear light embedded or integrated in the system um, and also a very easy to operate controller very easy to read as well especially in a bright light so if you think that this model is appealing to you and if you have the budget I definitely recommend going to your local bike shop for a test ride otherwise if they don't have it 
uh, you could go to the bike shop where I source this electric bike.